opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now just a final thought from rahul i'll get ajay in on this uh, good series win everyone played again that was key we talked about it at the start pleasant start not easy for new zealand to turn up but what he talked about is for india it's nice to see we've got options we can mix and match it'll be a long season leading up to the next world cup nice to have different options and people doing well so the the one thing i mean at least i can read from there is he's not trying to hide by saying listen let's take it one match at a time what world cup who's talking about a world cup it's fair enough fair enough it's it's a year away and there's no reason to be shying away from saying this was step one Yeah, fair enough. I mean, because he he has been just appointed, and the only reason you appoint a coach is you know his thought. It's not that he comes overnight and you start winning or losing the credit, or the you know discredit should go to them. If you brought him in, then you got to go by what he believes and what he thinks. And if he's working towards it, looking at every game as you know preparing for that World Cup, then uh, you, know, you know that's the way we need to go with him. Because you know at the end of the day, he's our coach, he's our captain. and we've got we may have all of us will have opinions you know this is how we should prepare or this is how we should play but at the end of the day it's the captain and the coach who are appointed guys what are they thinking and what is it that they want to do and it's nice to see rahul's come out clear and he's made it very clear that he's going to be looking at all these bilaterals as you know getting ready for the world cup and uh, so you know if he's preparing for it yes he's you know already got something out of it on this trip you know you got venkatesh ayers uh who you know everybody knows his opening batting skill so he can always open if you want a third opener in that side he can be along with you he can bat at 6 and he's now showed you that he can bowl as well so i mean i look at it that way if that's the way we're preparing to go ahead then when you found the guy keep sorry keep using them and uh, you know I, i think it's too early i mean for any coach and i always believe a, a good coach or a bad coach I mean, in this format of the thing, is judged by numbers. Somebody's won games. A, a coach should be judged after he leaves. What happens with that team? Because you know, it takes time for a coach to bring in a culture, bring in a thought process towards the end of his career or when he's left. When he's arrived, first three days, yeah, when or luckily, you know, Jams had a good start. He's won three, so nobody will get after him. But if if it was such a magical thing a coach could do, then you know, it would be coaches and not players. So I I I always believe a coach's reflection we will see in about six months time how the team's thinking or a captain's reflection. It takes a little while. I will wait for a while and uh, you know see. But I will go along with Jam if he's got a belief. Uh, he will certainly stick by it. And he's a you know there you can't find a better person in dedication and you know determination. I, these these are two things that you can make sure that he will instill in this side. So I'll wait and uh, enjoy when he puts all that in, also. And we also got the bonus of uh, maybe seven extra smiles from him than we would have normally got. I'm sure there were people keeping track of that. Uh, we love Rahul Dravid, and we love him more <laughs> when he just gives us that. It almost as if you're waiting for it. And today we had a few of them. Even when there was that little bit of a misfielding from uh, from Ishan Kishan, the ball before that, everyone had been talking up the fielding coach Dilip, and he was sitting next to Rahul Dravid. And, Next ball, the ball goes past Ishan Kishan. He still had a smile on his face. So it's always good to see that they're they're working for various things. What about skipper Rohit Sharma? We've talked about Rahul Dravid. Uh, what is it that Rohit Sharma had to say? And we've got uh, we've got this particular quote to to work with from Rohit Sharma. The way forward for Team India. I think we just need to set the template right, and when we've got and we've got some time to do that. There are little holes we need to fill. this will be our biggest challenge i'm not going to say that we want to follow certain teams templates we just have to follow and create our own template and what is best for our team now let me just clarify this was said at the start of the series dk and you'd have to say that sticking to that some of those holes have started getting filled we're not going to get ahead of ourselves <laughs> yes i think uh, definitely i think uh, india is going in the right direction i think uh, you know they're two clever leaders rahul dravid and uh, rohit sharma is very sure about what they want i think they'll make a you know a lovely marriage together because they both have their heart in the right places and want to take indian cricket in the right direction give them time like ajay bhai said bang on give them 6 months 8 months and then we will see 
how well the hole has been filled right now if you do it it'll be like putting fevi quick in a small hole it's not going to really help but you know you give it some time and i'm sure they will definitely address the issues like getting the sixth bowler in making sure who our openers are what our middle order is who's our death bowler who's going to bowl up top who's our backup spinner all those questions slowly but steadily will definitely get answered and i think uh, both of them have a very calm head on their shoulders uh, and um, you know they will definitely uh, strive to move in the right direction with team india